and uh, hello everybody um, welcome back to uh, 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 Revit training brought to you by yours truly uh, first and foremost apologies that I've been um, haven't posted many videos as of late I think it's probably been at least two months um, since I posted a video um, reason being I've just started a full-time job and uh, yeah, so that's taken it out of me a little bit and uh, kept me away from my home computer um, in order to do some videos. <coughs> Excuse me. However, we um, I can now you know, found a bit of time. We can start doing uh, the odd new um, video. So I'm going to keep going with our um, intermediate um, project and. Um, what we're going to look at today is on this video, okay, is to um, modify the way these brick veneer walls behave. Okay, and the easiest way to show that is if I go into um, double click on this section here. Okay, so this is this is my brick veneer wall. And if you track my mouse down here on my cursor. Okay, you'll see that we um, our detail level is coarse. Okay, which means we don't see an awful lot. Okay, but if I click on that and change it to fine detail mode. Okay, if I zoom in a little bit, there's our brick veneer wall. Okay, so there's our timber frame on the left hand side. Uh, we've got an air gap in between, and we've got a um, brick veneer on the outside. Okay. Now if I click on this wall, okay, if I try and drag it, because we can drag this independently of tying them with uh, the levels, okay, what you'll see is that it just basically drags in as a single wall, okay, i.e. the timber frame, the air gap and the brick veneer all behave the same, or operate on the same level. Okay, now for a brick veneer and for many other veneer type of projects we actually want the veneer to often go either above or below the timber frame or the framework that it is attached to okay so we're going to go through that little process now okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my wall okay what I need to do is I need to go into so I pull that to one side okay now I'm going to go edit type Okay, we've got to go right into the nuts and bolts of this wall. So I'm going to go in here. So this is my type properties. Okay, I'm here in my structure and I'm going to go in here, edit. Okay, and this is the assembly. Okay, so this is how the wall is currently constructed. Okay, so I don't need to change any of these layers. They all work perfectly well. Okay, what I need to do is change this view here on the left hand side. Now, if you don't see that right now, you will see here there's a little preview button. So you might just see this right now. Okay. So if you click on this, if you click on the little preview button at the bottom left hand corner, we'll see this. Now at the moment, this is the plan view. So it's looking from the top. Okay. What I want to do is be able to modify the section. Okay. So if I click on this view here, little tab there it gives me the ability to go into the section and modify the type attributes there. So I'm going to left click on that and there we go. So this is our section assembly. Now what I'm going to do here, so I'm just using my middle mouse button to scroll in. Okay, and you use these little, obviously the little bars on the side to zoom in. Okay, I still can't do anything at the moment because I need to click on this little button here, the modify tab. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, so it's changed the colour. And what that does, when we zoom in, what that does there, if I hover over my cursor, it goes, we get a blue, you know, the line changes to a blue. So I'm going to click, cl click on that, left click, and we'll see a little padlock, which means it's locked, okay, to the same level as all the other ones. So what I want to do is I'm going to unlock that. And at the same time, for those who are in Australia and New Zealand especially, okay, where we deal with a lot of brick veneer, okay, we need the therm we need this air gap to be unlocked as well because these two behave together 
or they behave independently of the timber frame or the framework okay so brick is un unlocked air gap is unlocked but the timber frame and even our um, plasterboard they are locked so they will stay on the level assigned to them now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go OK and click OK a couple more times and now when I come back into my view okay if I click on that same wall now we see two push-pull arrows for the wall at the bottom which means I can now drag my brick veneer down a little bit further past the wall okay and this is going to become um, the reason for this is going to become evident um, very soon um, but let's um, leave it at that for now and um, we will see you at the next video